So first one I have is actually from Paul George on his podcast, Podcast P. Um, and it's his first episode back since the Clippers were eliminated. And he said, quote, It's not fun to be done at yeah. this stage. Uh, yeah. Because I, I did not want to see you right now. I didn't think I'll be seeing y'all in person <laughs> for a good little time, but uh, here we are. I'm still there with y'all, but. Uh, yeah. It still hasn't hit me that we're done. You know, you still, you, you just get so used to a, a schedule and repetition that always stings and you never get used to that. Thoughts? on Paul George comments. I hear what he's coming from, man. I mean, it's tough from his ass, his his point of view, because thinking like, look, we're all healthy. We're a really good team. We we have the facilities to make a long run. From the outside looking in, I don't care how many games y'all played this whole regular season. I knew somebody was going to get hurt eventually because it just happens every single year. So I'm not surprised, but I see why someone like Paul George is like, look, we've been healthy for majority of the season. Kawhi played X amount of games this year. And it's just, it's just, I'm surprised that we're, you know, we're not still playing. But like I said, from the outside looking in, I'm not surprised. Yeah, he had a disappointing playoffs. Uh, his teammates had a disappointing playoffs. Um, and nothing was more disappointing than Kawhi Leonard having his most healthiest season in almost a decade, probably, actually, at this point. Yeah. Um, just to play two playoff games. And be terrible in both. Yeah. It, it's not so, bro. It's, it happens. It's no more like if they're healthy, when they, it, that's over. It's a bro. guarantee. Never, you can stamp it every year. <laughs> they're never going to be healthy, bro. They're never going to have a full run, bro. It just It's over. Just give it up. Yeah. That's you think that. he stays in, in, in LA or is he, he's out of there? I've seen people put him in. Uh, I think Philly is the one I've seen the most that he ends up with Embiid and Maxi out there. I think he's out of there because I like the situation that he can go to. Um, I like if I like a Philly. I think Philly would be cool, but then again, this another hurt superstar, so that'd be kind of disappointing if you go there and Joel Embiid is hurt. Um, honestly, I like the situation with the Knicks. I don't know how that situation will work out, but I feel like that could be solid for them. Um, I see him linked to like the Magic, which would be like. I don't. I wouldn't know. be mad at. It. I wouldn't. The Magic be just need another person. Yeah, they still a little ways out from really getting. I ain't making that jump that a team mm -hmm. like OKC is made. Like they probably a season or two away. Mm -hmm. Um, so it's like you could bring in a guy on a you know two three year deal who could help bridge you to that point. Y'all make it sooner. Y'all make it sooner. Mm -hmm. Um, but I, I I would like to see him in Orlando. I think that'd be interesting. It'd be kind of cool. It'd be kind of cool. So, yeah, I, I like the situations of him and other teams. So I think that – I think he probably is going. Um, but I can see a world where they just give him a bag and they sit there like, look, let's just run it back because, you know, um, they got a bunch of money. They got a new stadium mm -hmm. opening up. Mm -hmm. Wise under contract. So it's like I can see a world where they're just like, let's try to run it back. Let's be healthy. And then they run the same predicament next year. So yeah, I can see a world where they do that. Yeah, it's going to be interesting. It's going to be a real interesting offseason for the Clippers.